been an admin day today for uh, for me at Mighty Lancer. You've been adding some new stuff to the website, haven't you, my darling? Only a couple of pre-painted things. That's all. Nothing else. Let's see. What's uh, no? And uh, we've had a delivery today, but I didn't bring it home because I couldn't carry it. Couldn't carry it. What are you mm. messing at? Let's. Uh, the yeah, hope, yeah. Anyway, some of that didn't bring it. Rubbish. I know. Look at D says, Oh, didn't realize how loud my PC was. You make me jump with your hello there. Mm. You always make me jump because your ending music is seven million times la la louder than your. Uh, mainstream volume so when you say goodbye and then you switch it to your end stream it's really really loud. Oh, thank you John. John Pete's hungry and tired I need advice on making puddles um, well there's lots of different ways to make puddles Pete and you can uh, run the taps and get a bucket and pour some on the pavement um, some little boys like to make puddles with the uh, parts of their anatomy. <laughs> what kind of puddles are we thinking? You silly. Sherry means miniature puddles. Ah, of course. I just thought we were going to go and jump in muddy puddles. Yep. UV resin, Pete. <laughs> Is, uh, my advice. I'm trying out a different paintbrush because I grabbed this one out of my brush holder uh, and I don't like it. So it's one of these with a big chunky handle. Uh, in fact, I'm going to swap it out. It's, what, it's a Series 101 and uh, I've got used to using the other one now, and it's just not comfy for me. So I'm going to swap back. Was was trying it, but I think when I uh, my hands get even more wonky, I might have to use one of them. But I oh, know, and now I've dropped the end of my paint. Oh, it's one of them days already. It's one of them streams. Let's go back. Go back to the good old faithful um, series twenty-two. Let me do that. Right. So I am painting this evening. Should introduce it really. I am painting, and so far I've done a terrible job of uh, of her skin. I'm going to be painting this Medusa mini from Bones Five. I've liked this mini ever since I first saw it. I think it looks awesome. She's got loads of coils. I think it's probably one of the best Medusa minis I've ever seen. Um, so, I'm going to be painting this one today. Uh, or starting work on this one. It's been undercoated in the cupboard for a while. And, uh, yeah, just been waiting for a suitable opportunity. So, I'm going to get some green and I'm going to paint her tail. I think. Actually, no, before I do that, I'm going to paint the grey on this pillar on the base. I'm going to do that first. Hashtag pro streamer. That's right, John the Templar. That is right. So we're going to paint the uh, paint the grey first, I think, before we uh, before we go wrong. I'm going to get some stone grey from Reaper. I'm going to paint that stone work in before I then um, get grey all over. If I painted the green first of her tail, then I would undoubtedly uh, get grey all over what I've painted whilst trying to uh, paint this rock in later. Collapsed column. 
I was just trying to read the chat, but it didn't make sense. I just saw something about a bucket. Ah, right. Oh, you see. Uh, not much really because I've been doing uh, paperwork and it's super boring so I haven't really seen anybody or um, got any amazing news we submitted that video last night the chaps got back to me and uh, said that he's received the information and that they were going to review it and how dodgy that sounds. We sent a video off last night and the blokes reviewed it. I mean, like, you know, no context or anything. No, he's going to review it. Just random. Mm -hmm. um, and I've ordered some board games in amongst the other bits and pieces because you had done me that list yesterday, so I've ordered a few. Where a lot of them that we haven't got are out of stock. So we've got back orders in for stuff. Uh, what else have I done? I had a really, really nice egg mayonnaise sandwich for my lunch. <laughs> and uh, and also, so when I'd gone to the sandwich shop the other day, they had some stuff that looked like chocolate flapjack, and it's that kind of stuff that's been dipped half in chocolate, so it's diagonally covered in chocolate. And I thought, like, oh, that looks really tasty. I'll have a piece of that. Anyway, it turns out it's actually muesli, not flapjack. In, uh, in a kind of square form with chocolate drizzled all over it. And it's super yummy. Add a bit of that as well. Music. Yeah. So I've given up on going to the... Chat chat. Given up on going to the chain bakery around the corner. Because they've put all their prices up, as, uh, as everybody is at the moment. Uh, but also, they've cut down their menu. So I can no longer have a, uh, a beef sandwich. From uh, from there, so they've uh, they've lost a customer because I do like a beef sandwich with onions and tomato sauce. But today I because you're weird. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Today I went to the other place. I don't like tomatoes, just tomato sauce. I think it's the it's uh, just vinegar. Yeah, the vinegar content. I think is what I like. Uh, but yeah. Went to the other place and had an absolutely fantastic egg mayo sandwich. Have you ever been next door? Not Costa, that... The, the pantry. pantry? Yeah. Yeah. Is that any good? Yeah, yeah. I've had a, uh, I've had a very tasty bacon sandwich from there. When uh, I was working one Sunday. Because he is supposed to take sandwiches from home, you know, in his little snack box. Yeah. But he always forgets, don't you? I do. I took an apple. <laughs> Steady on. Oh, yeah, I took an apple. Yesterday I took a whole pasta salad. Uh, and ate that. For so, my... so is that how it works? You, you took, took a pasta, pasta salad yesterday, yesterday, so today you were allowed something, something unhealthy. unhealthy. Well, it wasn't particularly unhealthy, was it? Egg mayonnaise is okay, isn't it? I don't know. It's smelly. Isn't that okay? No idea, we don't like it. I mean, I had a Kit Kat and some Pringles, so... I mean, well, yeah, we did. That's... What's everybody else for their dinner? What's everybody else uh, got on their hobby table? Uh, this is Rictus the Undying from Reaper. He is for my duo, I want to say. I'm fairly sure it's a duo. Um, so I thought I'd get him done. I always like to get them done... Uh, when it's a commitment, such as painting along with somebody else, get them done first, beginning of the month, and then I don't have to worry that I'm not going to do it. We can't actually submit them yet because it's not it's not reopened because the raffle is still taking place. I would say, as it mainly consists of mayo, then an egg mayo sandwich does not constitute a healthy lunch. Mickey D knows all about these kind of malarkey things. Tony says, painting Batman who laughs. That base is looking uh, looking super cool. Oh, base is all done. That's the last. Uh, that was the last thing I saw. I think in the Discord on that one. 
There's grass on the airstrip from Pete now. Pete's got grass on his airstrip. Um, hey Sharon! About to start a big commission, so I took the day off today and I'm just chilling. Awesome. I must admit I've not done a lot today. I've had a No, you haven't brought me any work. <laughs> you know. When the boss don't bring you anything to do, what are you supposed to do? I mean, you know, technically there could be housework and stuff. Oh, yeah. it's, it's not like there isn't any work to do, it's just you didn't, didn't want to do the stuff that I'd asked you to do. What did you ask me to do? You were going to... Well, John the Templar thinks you're crazy. <laughs> yeah, we are, John, that's why. <laughs> What, what did, you did you ask me to do? You were going to be doing some photos and stuff on the website and changing the product images and all those things. I have done some of them the other day. <laughs> I did. It's so boring. Did you, exactly. You had forgotten and didn't really want no, to. No, like, you know, like at least Friday or something I did that. I did, uh, I did monsters and things. Did, did, honest, did. <laughs> Wikipedia says, I had roast veg and pasta yeah, for dinner. Nice. Very nice. We've got, what have we got for tea? We're, we're, we're having uh, hoisin. Oh. <laughs> That's <laughs> always so weird because it's your voice. No, no. We're, we're having hoisin, hoisin uh, chicken, chicken with noodles. The tea, that's right. That's what we're having. So, I have mixed some Citadel Lupercal Green with a little bit of, or I'm mixing it with a little bit of Water Plus uh, from Instar. And we're just going to uh, thin it ever so slightly there. Make a nice big blob on the painting palette. And uh, I'm going to use that for her coils, her tail. Lupercal Green. It's a nice kind of almost turquoisey or dark turquoise shall we say uh, green that I'm going to use for tail here I keep hitting the camera with my paintbrush I do apologise it's because uh, I don't have any room <laughs> on my desk which is why my painting is always terrible but that's the excuse your painting that is, I am your painting is to. not terrible my painting is not terrible we had this conversation last night Stretch! Everybody stretch! Big stretch! Ah. Cool, so uh, last night Mrs. MLG and I uh, started watching The Book of Boba Fett, or whatever it's called. I think that's what it's called. The Book of Boba Fett on uh, Disney, and uh, I fell asleep part way through episode four. No, that is no reflection on the TV program. It was half past one in the morning. Yeah. Uh, that is just a reflection on our bad going to bed schedule. <laughs> yeah, well, it was... But did you actually think of the program? I thought it was all right. I thought it was all right. I'm going to have to obviously re-watch it, so you'd have to. <laughs> episode four, because you know what's going on, and I have no idea. It was... Uh, just after midnight and then we decided that we were going to have some more chocolate so we started another episode and then I don't know I remember waking up and you saying well this is daft isn't it let's go to bed well you were snoring so loud I couldn't hear it <laughs> so it was a bit pointless really wasn't it yeah well you'd woken up once and come like thought you'd convinced me that you weren't asleep, despite the song. <laughs> oh no, 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 I wasn't asleep, yeah, 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 whatever, you know, I can see you. Yeah. <laughs> and then when you uh, and you did it again, and then woke yourself up snoring again, I was like, this is silly now, come on, off so, to bed you go. Are we, uh, are we going to finish watching it this evening? Wiki mm -hmm. says, I should be cooking tea now. Instead, I'm lost in the Mighty Lancer Games website looking for a juicy demonic mini for a large group. Yes, I need to find one too. I I haven't 
I haven't decided on mine yet. I haven't come across one that you like. I haven't looked. I haven't looked. What? Oh no, I'm terrible. I haven't looked. We looked in your box over you've had, there. You've had, you've had, like, all day today you could have been checking out minis whilst updating images. Yep. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I didn't. I added some pre-painted minis to the website instead and did some social media and talked to the awesome people on Discord and, uh, yeah, didn't look, didn't look for a mini. Uh, I didn't even do any painting. It's not like I've been skiving off doing some painting. Didn't do that either. I see. Oh, no, just terrible, aren't I? So yeah, if you want any pre-painted minis, there's some on the website. They're not very expensive. <laughs> <laughs> no, might help me buy a new paintbrush. Uh, I bought you some new paintbrushes for you, but... No, I haven't tried them yet, I'm scared. Wiki D says, I'm also sulking because Sharon's bags is the queen of hell. She bags it that before we'd even announce the uh, the official themes. Like, no, that's my, that's my. <laughs> the one that I was thinking of, uh, somebody else is doing. So it's not it's not important because it was only a, oh, I suppose I could do that. But uh, I do need, there are so many cool ones. I do need to just look at the website and decide. Once you've decided we can do let me know and I'll add you to the list. And then we don't get duplicates. I assume that everybody who is listening to us uh, already knows all about our Discord channel and is in there. And um, at some point, Mr. MLG will paint in the middle of the screen. Um. But if you don't know about our Discord, come join it. It's family friendly. Uh, we talk about painting and we talk about rubbish other stuff and we try and keep it as friendly and we all try and work together to help each other no uh, no mean nonsense going on otherwise i'll tell you off <laughs> kick you out <laughs> yeah, you get warnings first unless it's uh, i've only ever had to kick out a couple of people uh, a couple of like spamming scammer type people and then one yeah. person that was uh, posting highly inappropriate Fair enough. So, but uh, do keep a very close eye on it to make sure that everybody's happy and safe in our little Discord. But in there, you can see all about the painting challenges that we have Goblin Inspiration, the Great MLG Brush Off, and the Reaper Challenge League. Uh, all have channels in there. And just get involved because it's fun. Tony's already told me that he wants a The Great MLG Brush Off 2023. <laughs> <laughs> Which but I said, I'm sure. sure. I'm, I'm sure, sure we could do no problem. But maybe, maybe we'll leave it until December to think of the uh, to think of the themes. What, what we did this time was um, everybody suggested some themes, and then we used those because it's a community thing. So it wasn't it wasn't just I picked them. Um, the the community themselves picked them. That's the best way. Well, that's what I thought, which which didn't really help me because now I'm like, oh, I have got a mini for that thing. <laughs> but uh, but that's part of it to bring you out your comfort zone, maybe get you to paint something that you maybe wouldn't have tried otherwise. And with the great MLG brush off, it can be any manufacturer. It doesn't just have to be Reaper. It doesn't just have to be Games Workshop, etc. It can be uh, it can be any whatever you like. Whatever you like, and any any skill level. We don't. There's no judgment. We just want everybody to have fun. I mean, look at the state of my painting. Like, oh, look at it, you can see it on the screen. Yo. Do I actually know what I'm doing with this guy? <laughs> Your painting looks awesome. Mm. Mm, that's a nice colour there that you've got going on over there. This is, yeah, this is Looper Cowl Green from uh, GW, which is quite thick out of the pot, so. I thinned it with the water plus. Um, what's, I think I've lost lost the train of chat. <laughs> Sharon says, I can change it. I have many others. I was just sat on my bench, but I don't mind changing uh, to Wicked D. Uh, she's take it. I'll try something else. Hi, Red Snail. And then Wicked D's going, no, 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 it's fine. I'll find something else. <laughs> <laughs> Those two are having like a little combo all on their own. 
Fair enough. Tony says, my pit fiend was a super bones subscription one month. I found him while I was looking for minis for the trio. So when Demonic came up, I knew what I wanted. Yeah, that's a, that's a good plan. Yeah, those Reaper, our Reaper subscription boxes were uh, were fun. It's just a shame that we had to uh, had to stop doing those. Yeah. But uh, they were they were a lot of fun while they, while they lasted. Um, definitely wait until December. Now is way too early. It is it is way too early. Just positive feedback. That's not always welcome, Tony. Feedback, positive or uh, or constructive, is always welcome. Oh, scary! John the Templar is the best. John the Templar is the best. That's it. The stream said so. Yeah. It must be true. Must be true. He said. The stream said so. The lady's voice came over to tell us. About it. Oh, I see. We've had a we've had a swap now. We could need to the Queen of Hell now. Yeah, you just write it in uh, write it in Discord so I could change the list. <laughs> what we uh, what what's everybody swapping with? I oh, see zebra was uh, zebra. I was going to suggest that for you, but I don't think you'd like. Uh, all right. I need to have a look and see. Yeah. I need to have a look and see. You do. But I haven't yet. So, there. Mm. Uh, you know, I, oh, that's too bad. I know, a, I know a friendly local gaming shop that's got loads of Reaper miniatures in stock. Yeah. There was even a bloke did a video standing in the stock room showing us the stock at one point. So, well, there was. Know, it, it must be true, because they were there. Pete says, drink. <laughs> Wild Pokemon in chat. Wild Pokemon in chat. Murkrow. Don't know what that is. Yeah, never heard of a Murkrow before. Scratch building allowed. What? What for? Red Snail. I'm just, just. Are we talking about Reaper Challenge League? Are we talking about Brush Off? Are we talking about Goblin Inspiration? Just, just, just remind me what what Scratch building we're referring to. Hey, Papaya. Good evening. Oh, that's very kind of you. Oh, super! Thank that you. Is, that is really, really kind. So, uh, Papaya Freya has gifted. I think I read that right. <laughs> stop, stop me if I didn't. <laughs> has gifted um, some stream loot packs for everybody, so you can go and go and claim them, and then make us do silly things. <sighs> yep. So uh, I will you. pop the link. I've got no room, which is why it's taking me a while. Here we go. Pete the Hydrator would like you to look down the camera lens and say hello. Of course he would. Of course you would, Pete. The wheels are moving. Yes, so as I was saying, Papaya Pereira has gifted some packs of Stream Loops cards. So just head over using the uh, link that I put in and uh, claim your free pack courtesy of Papaya. Uh, and thank you very, very much. Turn the light off. Hi, Pete. I can't see you. It's just black now. It's just it's just black now because you've turned your light off. Hi. <laughs> Can you see me now? <laughs> there we go. There we go. Hi, Pete. Hi. Right. Hi, Pete. Pete the hydrator. Hi. Pete <laughs> oh, the so hydrator is enjoying this stream. Ugh. <sighs> <sighs> Deary, deary me. Oh, John caught the, uh, John caught the Pokemon. Red Snail said he hasn't, doesn't have anything tiny. <laughs> yeah, must have. Yeah, Nathan's painting some mushrooms. Oh, they're like diddy widdy, aren't they? Yep. Diddy widdy. Maybe just like a, a head for a, a pumpkin or um, a little animal companion. Oh, I've got something. Oh, okay. You can do more than one. Do you want the link again? Uh, Red Snail, is that box? Pete says, just pre painted count for it. For, for what? For the brush off? No. <laughs> yeah, you can't. You can't uh, 
Get one of Mrs. MLG's minis and then submit it as yours. John the Templar <laughs> is enjoying this stream. The uh, the idea is that for, for all of them, for the Goblin Inspiration, for the uh, Great MLG Grishoff, for the Reef Challenge League, is that you paint the miniature in the month uh, to inspire you to paint. Sometimes we all need a little inspiration. And that's but what it's for. Pete, you've been building tiny planes and yeah. tanks already, so surely you could well, submit... Your tiny, your tiny planes could, could go in. Something out of that that you've finished. How about a tank? Is it tiny? A tiny tank? You've got some tiny tanks, haven't you? I have, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. I should uh, I should do one of those. Yeah, anything that's tiny is fine for the MLG brusher. We, we painted... Uh, we had a scale model of the shop at the model village and in the window we painted a wargaming table with a game of being played and we painted some tiny tanks for it didn't we yeah they were very 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 small what, what were they so they uh they were original epic um space marines and imperial guard that were Perfectly scaled for the figures in the model village. Keep the hydrator is excited. It's so excited. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's very rare that we say something won't count. We, the idea is that you just have fun um, with it. You know, loosely based on the theme. He's, uh, he's always better, obviously. But it's, uh, I don't think I've ever gone, oh, no, no, you can't have that. Apart mm. from pre-painted stuff you haven't painted, Pete. <laughs> there, is, uh, there is something that you might like in the pre-painted section, though. Have you added that one yet, darling? Yeah, I've told him, but I don't, I don't think he wants it, but it's in there anyway. Mm. And we had a whole zombie shark. Uh, thing which then set off a whole thread of conversation on the Discord, which then just showed up my age because Numskull asked if we knew a certain song, and I'd never heard of it because it was from the 2000s. Uh, no. And I, I, I googled. I had to Google it. And it's, it was the most awful song, really bad, terrible song. <laughs> well, so that was a conversation that we had earlier. So that's always good, isn't it? <laughs> I see. This uh, this skin on this looks terrible. I'm I'm very bad at doing skin. No, I'm doing or er, I'm doing her er, like fleshy coloured, and then I'm gonna tint it green. Oh, is, yeah. is my plan. I'm gonna. Oh well, I was gonna do it with a green wash over the top once I've got it to a place where I'm kind of happy with the colours. John the Templar loves this stream. Thank I you very much, John. I hope that's true. I hope that everybody is enjoying our uh, waffle. You seem to be bathed in sunlight again, my dear. Well, yep. It's not really helping the uh, the camera show off what you're doing. Being bathed in sunlight over there. Do I need to put the sun barrier back mm, up? Yeah, you might have to. Sun barrier. Yeah, that's a real thing. Honestly, it's not just a bit of cardboard that we're going to lean up against Maldricar. Sharon got a Maldricar, managed to find one, mm -hmm. and uh, was slightly shocked about the size of... That's not done anything like you see, like, see, Can you see your desk? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, slightly shocked about the actual size. Despite seeing you paint yours and everything, obviously it's, it's not the same until you've got... Oh, Pete the Hydrator is sneaking about. Sneaking about. Pete's sneaking about. Be careful, everybody. Could be behind you ready to shout, Hydrate! It's not the same in, uh, until you get Mao in your hands and realise quite how big she is. Pete the Hydrator likes to party. We like to party. She is, isn't she? She is, Sharon. Oh, the, the, the dog's just choked up a stone. That's... That's nice. The dehydrator <laughs> says hi. Yeah, that's the dog. Yeah. Right, so... Uh, no, it's not. It's not a stone. It's a... 
It's a bit of the clothes peg. <laughs> Uh, back to some of that Lupercal green. I'm going to paint her hair, which are snakes, because she's Medusa. is cool. Again, a lot of these minis from the Bones 5, although they've done Bones 6 and it's closed and what have you, um, still a lot of minis from even Bones 4 that haven't made it to the retail stage yet, which is a bit weird. Pete the Hydrator would we're like you to look down the camera eventually. lens and say hello. Pete wants you to say hello to him. It's your turn. I can't. <laughs> I can't. There's no room for my head. Okay. I'll do it. That make any difference. Nobody can see. Tony says, I bet Malge Power is ridiculous. I know that Malge has caught me out when I brought... I think he's just broke his back. Oh. Hi, Pete. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Pete. <laughs> Oh, the dog's sniffing at him and all now. Uh, yeah, the way he is enjoying this stream. Maybe you should, maybe you should let Gizmo say hello. A double, double whammy. Gizmo's got to get over there. Yeah, Mike, he's trying. Oh, do you want to come over here? Let me say hello, please. Come on, get down. Get down. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, monster, I reckon. So, uh, for this lady, uh, I, d I don't know what to tell everybody. Oh, well, you're only good, I, I know, I know. It's uh oh. blobbed. We were Bl talking in the Discord about blobbed green on her skin. About films. Oh, All right. So uh, Tony mentioned The Lost Boys, and I said that that is one of my favourite films. But I can't watch it again because I don't want to spoil the rose-tinted memory I have of it. By watching it again and then going, oh, it's really bad though, isn't it? In like 2022. So just my memory of it being my be my favourite, one of my favourite films uh, is just how it has to stay, I'm afraid. And uh, then there was, was it Ferris Bueller's Day Off? Is that, is that yeah. how you say it? Yeah, yeah. And there was a whole conversation about that. I'm also looking forward to and slightly nervous by Hocus Pocus 2. I've seen the trailer, so it's made me feel a little bit better about it not going to be absolutely poopy. Just unblocking my pain. Um, 
because it looks like it might actually be more. Oh, look at that. Broken my pokey tool in my pain now. <sighs> <laughs> so, what is. Uh... I'd, I'd like to see the new Top Gun movie. I know you would. What's everybody else's favourite old movie that either they watch over and over and over again or that they can't watch again, like. Me and Lost Boys, in case it's actually terrible when you watch it again. What have we got? I like the uh, 1980s Transformers, the movie cartoon. Uh, and I can watch that over and over again. It's only about an hour long. And uh, I think it's really good. Transformers, the movie cartoon? Mm hmm. From the, uh, from the early 80s. got uh, Optimus Prime and Ultra Magnus and the Dino Bots and um, Megatron and Starscream and all the all the cool classic uh, Transformers that I had and my friends had when we were kids and. Uh, they actually look like the toys, unlike the uh, the Michael Bay movies, where when they transformed, everything just looked like a blur of metal and stuff. Because obviously it's CGI and live action, and it's supposed to be funny and in places and things, and all the actions. <laughs> you all right there, Pete? <laughs> It's the three There's a butter in chat. There's a butter free in chat. <laughs> Red Snow says Mad Max 1 and 2. I used to like Mad Max. Uh, welcome to the Thunderdome. Um, Sharon says The Lion King. Nothing wrong with that. I do like Disney and Pixar movies. I like. L Little Miss likes um, Mary Poppins. And thankfully, so do I, because we must have seen it oh, a gazillion lots times. And lots of times. We've had to watch it twice in one day. Oh, more than that. But I, I don't mind it, so it's fine. So, uh, we still sing the songs and stuff then. Now she's a bit older and we don't watch it as much. We still have to sing, uh, sing the songs. A spoonful of sugar. I always had to get some more Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Gonna get some shield brown for uh, her bow. Right. Get some base colours down. Not three. No Thunderdome. Not the Mad Max film. Oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it, it took a whole. Uh, Different direction in the third film, I think. I can't, I can't remember any of them. I just remember that's a that's a line. <laughs> that's a whole. Yeah, yeah. Tina Turner. Yeah, I, I, I don't actually remember any. I've seen them all, but uh, bad. Not to me, I remember. Oh, Wicked D and John won the uh, Butter Free. Ferris, Lost Boys, Blues Brothers, Alien, Blade Runner, Mad Max, Labyrinth, Son and Sorcerer, uh, Phantasm. Don't know that one. Hellraiser. I'm sure that I've missed a few, Mrs. Tony. I don't like horror films, so I won't have seen Hellraiser. Somebody once came to my Halloween party as Hellraiser. Uh, mm. Guy. Is it Pinhead? Is that what it's called? Yes. Yeah, um, I think they're all demons, aren't they? I'm, no I've, I've never seen it. Don't know. Don't know. I prefer aliens to alien. I know. Uh, it's. it's an action movie, isn't it? Rather than a horror movie, and, and Alien is regarded as a like a horror film. See it again. I've seen them, but I can't remember them. Ah, uh, see. There's uh, there's one where the first ones were regarded as uh, I think as horror, which is The Evil Dead. But you really like the third one, Army of Darkness. They're yeah. not proper horror, though, are they? Then they're just well, yeah, horror. the first one is it? certainly is a bit. Have I not seen bit... that one? It, well, you, I think you have. 
I think I think we have watched it together, but the first one's a bit I don't know. Naff. Yeah, I'm not I'm not very good with, with horror. I don't I don't like just being scared for no reason randomly. Like when people go to these um horror fest events and stuff and people jump out and things I don't I just don't I don't get the point. Yeah, they like all the jump scare stuff. I'd rather I'd rather just watch a comedy and have a laugh than be scared. I'm a, I'm a big scaredy cat. <laughs> Young Frankenstein, murdered by death. Oh, yeah, <laughs> the last remake of you guys. Bogus. Bogus. What's that? Uh, Bogus is a sort of. Forget. Correct me if I'm wrong, Tony, but I think the Bogus. Is a story of uh, French foreign legionaries in uh, in the desert. Something about a uh, dressing dressing dead bodies up in uniforms to make it look as if the fort's manned or something is what I recall from uh, from, from reading it. Like a clever plan. Didn't we have inflatable tanks and stuff in the war, or was that just a. Yeah, 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 they, yeah, they did. Yeah. Down near Hull, they had inflatable Hull tanks and uh, other other things on the in on the river to make the Germans think that there were. Uh, it was actually a uh, like a little airfield thing going on. Hell comes to Frogtown! I love that! What's that? Oh, it is an absolutely shocking movie. <laughs> uh, yeah, and the and the women and the women have to do the dance of the seven snakes, which we can't. It's not family friendly. Can't describe that. But um, yeah, hell, hell comes to Frog Town. It's uh, it's awesome. Love that. Sounds, There's uh, a second one. Really? <laughs> Gonna have to check that out. <laughs> Oh, uh, oh what's, what's the, the escape from, from uh, New York and escape from LA with Kurt Russell as well? Snake Pliskin. He's a proper 80s action hero. Yeah. And Tremors, yep. Keep the hydrator is excited. Love, love Tremors. There's loads of follow up, like uh, spin offs and uh, things for Tremors as well, isn't there? So, uh, yeah, lots. Lots to the franchise for Tremors. There's one there. Uh, there's one set in cowboy times where, like, they're all pioneers or whatever, and the the guy Bert and his missus are like playing the same characters pretty much, but in in the pioneer time. Oh yeah, big trouble in Little China. We love that as well. Yeah. With, uh, in fact, so these guys, uh, I was looking, <laughs> looking at one of these guys earlier on. So these guys, I'm just putting a bit of paint on here. I've, I've stuck, I found the uh, the arm for my Bakamono Boomers for Bushido. Um, so I've stuck the arm on this guy, so I just need to get a little bit of primer on that so I can uh, touch him up. The, not that way. Uh, get his skin done. <laughs> and uh, and yeah, these these guys remind me of is it Low Peng, Low Peng, or something like that. Low David Lopan, that's it, isn't it? Is uh, yeah, so many of these guys with their little like tashes and. Uh, Go to your beards and what have you. Very, uh, very reminiscent of the that kind of style of movie. And uh, oh yeah, the Pork Shop Express. We love it. We do. Big Trouble in Little China is awesome. And then um, Commando. I really like Commando with Arnie. Yeah, really. Uh, quality movies from my childhood. Right, need to uh, need to find a colour for her. Um, this thing here, 
quiver, that's the right word. Let's get some leather brown. I think we're gonna use, go some green stuff well. Leather brown. Never seen Animal House. Heard about it. <laughs> You're right under there, Pup. John the Templar likes to party. We like to party. We like, we like to party. So, uh, did everybody, what did everybody think to the, the photos, if you've seen them in Discord, of the uh, dried shades and what have you? I didn't do them as photos. I did a, um, a video, oh, right. a very short video, but it's too long for, too long for Discord, uh, in our YouTube channel of all the, uh, all the stuff, but I think some people have seen it. Excellent. The dog is doing something weird under my table. That's a pup. I think, I think a fly has gone behind the cabinet where the computer is and he was trying to get it in the corner near my feet. <laughs> I think that's what he was doing. He was snuffling in the corner. Strange pup. Right. I think this brush is definitely getting ready for an intense clean. Tony likes the sepia. Yeah, I'm, I was very impressed with that. I think. Uh, when I eventually get around to painting uh, the Stormcast Eternals that I have got, that I will be using the sepia um, to block in all of their armour, because I, uh, I really liked how that turned out. I think that could look pretty cool. Just have a little bit more of a go at her skin and then uh, I'm going to change brushes because this one's starting to annoy me a little. It's, uh, it's just got a little bit of paint in between the bristles and it's starting to, as I'm painting with it, it's starting to splay out a touch. But I have been painting with it for several months now so. It's about time it had a good clean. Uh, right then, let's swap for this bad boy. What's this? This is a Series 301 pointed round. I think this is a synthetic, actually. I think it is. So let's have another go of flesh. We've got some rosy skin, uh, which is what we used earlier from Reaper. She's quite booby, this lady. Oh, Panda says, are there any more cookies? <laughs> it's so greedy. Greedy, greedy Panda. Was he doing the crying again? No, he's just waving his tongue around. Oh, I see. John's, John's fucking. <laughs> hey, Jeffrey. <laughs> Deathly says, wait a minute, your Rusty Rictus looks better than my Rusty Rictus. <laughs> Mine's very rusty, he's had a bad time. <laughs> I like I like this, uh, I like this stuff. I like it with pumpkins and any orange. I just, I just like it, it's cool. Look at it. Riser Rust. Yummy. Nathan, those Baleo Dunk Pop washers. 
do they have a matte finish? Now that they're dry, you can answer that like proper like, can't you? I, okay. think, I think that they looked matte, didn't they? But, yeah. they, but they did go into all of the, um, what do you call it? They went into all the little pits and stuff, didn't they? Yeah. Oh, that piece of paper's gonna fall on you. Yeah, it's good stuff, definitely. I, I like gonna, it. I always gonna do my. have to take it down. Uh, okay, I always do my pumpkins and anything I want bright orange. And, I uh, you can see. If you uh, bear with me a second, Tony, I will. Uh, I will get the one that I dunked, and we can review it. Just, uh, just get a coat of this on. To try and make that that stone look better. I think. It's a bit rubbish. She got an, like an arm guard. I don't think she has. Oh, it's being silly. Anyway. Uh, yeah. right, let's try and make that better. Hashtag crushed it. <laughs> John's uh, John's cheering. What, what for the for the paintbrush paint flick? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> don't know. We've got, got some pride badges, badges in John. If uh, if you haven't seen them, we're hoping to keep them in all year, but we have only got one of each just to see what people thought really. If they were uh, any good, anybody liked them. I think they're quite cute. I like the dragons. I like the little lion. Yeah, he's cool. cool. Anyway, I'm, I'm confused. confused. I forgot what I'm doing now. I've got myself confused. Doesn't take a lot, does it? Oh, that was right. I was going to try and sort out this uh, this this gem. There's a there's a wild Pokemon in chat. A wild Pokemon in chat. What is it? What is it? I don't know. A Belossum. Tony says, I enjoyed last night's stream. A few interesting little discoveries. Well, that's what, that's what we were hoping. Um, we thought when we came, when we decided that we were going to try and... We were just, we were just going to, at first, make a video, uh, you know, for the old Ubi-Tubi. And then Nathan said, oh, why don't we just do them live on the stream? And then everyone can see, like, live, how, how they're going on. So that's what we did. Right. That's, That's her, uh, skin. skin. Let's uh, clean our brush. Wish me luck doing my first large 3D print. A false hydra. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Don't forget your local friendly gaming shop sells miniatures <laughs> that you don't have to print. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do a, a very reasonably priced whiz kids hydra. Them, you uh, you yeah. right, right, so, so here we go, Tony. Bring it towards me. Uh, towards me. Yeah. Slightly towards the telly. Yeah. Towards How, the telly. Stop looking at your screen, Richard. Oh, sorry. Slightly towards the telly. Slightly towards the telly. That's too far. Right, Tony. Here we go. This is the uh, this is the mini that I dunked, and yes, yes, indeed, it has a uh, matte finish on now it is dried so this was just one quick dunk and then I took a bit of the excess off around the base so uh, yeah, hopefully you can see uh, that so it's a white undercoat so excuse me you would definitely have to manage excuse me manage the flow in the recesses of, uh, of like the cape and stuff around the back but just as an example I think it looks pretty good Pretty good if you were doing a statue or something and you wanted it to be uh, done quick. Certainly grey and then a dunk of this and it'd look pretty cool, I think. I've wandered all over there, sorry. <sighs> right then. There's not that I refuse to listen. Yeah, but you all got a delay and you refuse to listen to the way it actually It's as simple as that. Where's your dunk? 
Uh, gonna just put a little bit of stone gray in this little tiny gap here. That I missed the first time round in between these coils. So this is exactly what I didn't want to have to do, which was pick out uh, gray, because I'm bound to get some gray all over the green. Wow. I'm skipping to my friendly local gaming store on my dinner tomorrow to buy me a Queen of Hell and maybe some other things that fall into my hands too. <laughs> Tony says, the matte quality. Ah, he does look nice and matte finish is what I was wanting as I use the matte quality when I'm doing true metal metal. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, I need to, uh, I need to practice my metal and stuff. I've always been very lazy in the past, just whacked some stuff on. It's not lazy, it's just a different technique. All right. Yeah. Depends what you want it for. I know. If you just want it for getting it on the table, then there's absolutely nothing wrong with using the um, <coughs> paints and silvers and stuff. If you want to take it to the next level, then that's different, isn't it? Yep. If you want to just practice and try a different technique, then that's different. Depends what you want to do. Right, you've only got two minutes, so what have you got to tell us? Uh, I'm supposed to be having a game with Bushido on Thursday. Looking forward to that. Might... Uh... Might use this guy, little ninja guy. Actually, and I might use that guy, these guys. Even if I've not finished painting them, I think I might use them. Because I've never actually used the, the boomers to see how they perform. Might use those guys. I can't remember which blue I used for their skin. It was something that I thinned down a lot. Was it possibly malefic purple? But that's purple. It is, but... It's not though, is it? Yeah, but, but I do I do use it all the time, don't I, at the moment? It seems like I use it loads. Yeah, I think it was this. And I watered it down loads. I need to uh, need to fix his arm, you see, where I've stuck his arm on. Um, what it now means is that I've got another boomer mini uh, missing an arm, basically. Because when I put this guy together originally, I'm pretty certain that his arm was missing. I can't remember discarding it. Um, so, fortunately, I did have another one in a pack that I've not done anything with because I'm told that these guys work best in pairs because they have to reload their weapons after you've fired them. So, I uh, haven't got around to putting the other one together yet. So I've nicked the arm out of it so I can have one complete model while I get a replacement part. But they're cool little cheeky characterful minis, the uh, Bushida Bakamono. They've, uh, they've just announced some new models which we will be getting in stock, which are, uh, there's, and the little Bakamono guy that they've shown off has got a little horn so he's blowing a big, big, uh, big horn, and he looks super cool. Definitely uh, like the look of that guy. And his rules in the game is not particularly great at anything apart from he blows his big horn, and it means that you can summon other goblins from the shadows. Is uh, is the name of the rule? Summon from the shadows. So they have this fantastic ability where you can uh, call extra goblins onto the table, and you don't have to pay the points for them as part of your army and uh, it's really cool of course everybody that I've played against hates it so uh, even more reason to wind them up Nikki D says that she's going to skip to her friendly local gaming stuff on a dinner tomorrow to buy the Queen of Hell 
and then puts in a disclaimer please no one expect me to actually skiff across King Street I was I was, yeah, hoping, I, I was setting the camera up yeah, in the morning to record you that's what we were waiting for actual skipping across King Street is, is that not what you're going to be doing Tony says I've studied and developed with some real pros in the painting world in my time I'd be happy to do tutorials on stuff I knew bred well enough to be able to get longer term parking. Oh, we can definitely point you to uh, <clears throat> better parking facilities. I need better parking in Bridge. Yeah, they took they keep taking it all away. That's the problem. Yeah, <laughs> and the park and ride's been shut, which is a bit naughty. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah we we have to pay for a car parking space. We, we have our own car parking space that we have to pay a private person for just so that we can actually go to work. Yeah. If if I go with there'll be a spring in my step, will that work now? No, actual skipping is, is yeah. required. <laughs> you said you were going to skip. Yeah, you said you said it, that's it. <laughs> no, you don't. Have, honest, you don't actually have to skip, obviously. A skip in your heart will do. So, my dear... This is my Rictus. I think I'm going to leave him there. I think I think that's as that's maybe all he's going to get. To be fair, is he com he's completed? Well, he's based on his. He might get. It a looks bit of, awesome. He might get a bit more grime on the bottom of his cloak. That's looking a bit too, uh, a bit too clean, isn't it? So it's uh, it's the end of the stream time. So what are you doing? Uh, so I uh, I'm just going to finish using up this little bit of black paint that I've got here, and then I'm going to cook us some tea. Is what I'm going to do, my darling. So uh, let's just use this little bit of black paint on his feet, and then I will show everybody my okay. Medusa. Yeah, so I need to do I need to do his base, which will only be some grey dry brush because I'm rubbish at bases. That's all that he ever gets. Uh, Tony says, "Boing!" Like Tigger. The wonderful thing about Tigger is, is Tigger's a wonderful. Right, so here is uh, here is Medusa. This is this is where she's got up to so far. Very basic, flesh tone, a uh, bit of wood colour on the bow, dark green, turquoisey uh, well, colour. It doesn't like her. Uh, I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh my God. No, don't like it, does it? Well, it's too, too bright. You have a delay! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that's what she looks like so far. Hopefully, tomorrow when we stream, won't be quite so bright and I'll be able to show you her in a bit better uh, bit better detail. Or even but that's, on screen. Yeah. I mean, okay. you know, that would be a start. There we go. Thank you very much, everybody, for joining us. We'll be back tomorrow at 8 pm. <sighs> if you haven't murdered me. Yeah. Thank you everybody. It's see awesome. See you later everyone. To see you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.